Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Kate Morgan from the Cards NP. So today I want to discuss what you need to document on your discharge summary for your patients with a diagnosis of non-ST elevation MI type 1 status post cardiac stent. So these are important metrics to keep your chest pain accreditation with the American College of Cardiology and also to follow the guidelines for best practices. You're discharging a 55-year-old female with a diagnosis of NSTEMI type 1, status post right coronary artery stent. What are the essentials to include in the discharge summary? Essential medications that must be prescribed are aspirin 81 milligram daily, P2Y12 inhibitor like ticagrelor, a statin such as atorvastatin, at a dose of 40 to 80 milligrams nightly, or rosuvastatin, 20 to 40 milligrams nightly. Beta blockers, such as metoprolol succinate, and don't forget to give them a prescription for sublingual nitroglycerin with instructions on use. Now, if the patient has an ejection fraction less than 40%, then add an aldosterone antagonist, such as spironolactone. They will also need an ACE inhibitor, or ARB, and a beta blocker that is evidence-based. Those evidence-based beta blockers are metoprolol succinate, carvedilol, and bisoprolol. Now, if there are any contraindications to these medications, Document why you're not prescribing them. In the comments below, tell me the contraindications of each drug class. Other things that you need to do before discharge is put in an order for cardiac rehab and make a follow-up appointment in your office. Document the date, time, location, and provider. Other discharge instructions, make sure the patient has a printout of post-catheterization site care, either radial or femoral approach. They need to know the do's and the don'ts. And counsel them about a heart-healthy diet, exercise, and smoking cessation. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to hit the like button if you felt like this was helpful. And be sure to check out my other videos like how to present your cardiac patient to your attending or preceptor. Again, thanks. See you in the next video.